Uh, well, Victor, it was a first experience for all of us on Sunday to have the live streaming sermon. And um, what, what did it feel like being pastor in a church with, uh, with really no one in the church? Yeah, it was strange. So I think the thing that struck me the most was that as I was looking out amongst the, where normally our congregation members would sit, there was no one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was pretty weird because uh, I'm normally used to trying to look in everyone's eye or at least try to jump around a little bit. But there's only a couple people here. So to look at them, I felt like I was almost looking at them too much, which was, it was just a strange, strange feeling. So on the strange side, obviously an empty church, but on the more interesting side, um, we have this opportunity today and we don't often have the ability to go back and say, oh, if I could have added one more thought, or if there was a, a thought that after I preached it, I'd like to share a little bit more about that. So, um, so you've got the opportunity. What, what, what have you been thinking about as you've reflected on Sunday's sermon and as you're now uh, able to just go a little deeper? Yeah, so as I was thinking about it yesterday, after, after I left and was just kind of pondering a little bit more at home, was the thought that I think a lot of people feel pretty caged up right now yeah. because you're told stay home, you know, try to avoid contact, social distancing. So a lot of those connections that we normally have, we just don't, we don't really have right now. Um, so with that idea of feeling caged up, I think the message of you're free, I think especially resonates with people in that they are free from sin, they're free from all these things, and they're free from fear, especially in this time. Awesome. So Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 1, uh, part of the sermon on Sunday morning. Therefore, there is now no condemnation. We're free. Uh, thanks for joining us on this post-Sunday uh, chat, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, however, God makes that possible. Have a good one. Thank you.